Hi guys, welcome to Empath Joe. Thank you for joining me. I hope this reading resonates for you. Taurus, welcome in guys. Thank you ever so much for joining me once again for another love reading with myself, Joe. We shall not waste no time, Taurus. We're going to get straight into your reading. Your first card is the Eight of Cups. Then we've got the Nine of Cups. And we've also got the Five of Swords. Taurus, I feel as though you are going in the direction of love. Yeah, um, absolutely going after the other two there with the Eight of Cups going after your completion. Okay, so you're almost there. I'm going to say this is something that you more than likely manifested because on your next one, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Magician and the Page of cups so this is something that you are in the process of manifesting or you've put it out there into the universe already Taurus and this is your fears here with the five of swords this is what you're fearing you're fearing that um it's not going to happen for you okay you may have had a few false starts or just you know not seeing anything that's meeting up to your standards then let's say that but um this is a work in process. This is a manifestation, manifestation in progress here because we've got the Magician and the Three of Pentacles. So it's been worked on and I feel like you're almost there, okay? It's at the it's at the beginning stages, okay? Um, as I said, you may have had a few false starts, but it's important for your manifestation to work. You need to see what's not... Um, what's not beneficial to you before you jump into something and think, okay, it's her and it's happening and it's not the right one. Um, it's at the, it's at the beginning stages. It's happening. We shall read on Taurus. Six of Wands. As I said, it's at the beginning stages. Let's see what's up. Oh, oh. Taurus, I'm excited. Wheel of Fortune, Two of Cups. OK, as I said, it's at the beginning stages. There's going to be a small victory some um, somewhere. Perhaps you'll get some clarification, some confirmation. You may meet somebody very, very soon. OK, with the two of cups here. Um, that you, I think you'll pretty much know straight away like, oh, wow, uh, th this is my person or this is going to be my person. You may just meet them. I mean, odd chance you've just met this person, but you know, and you know what you know, okay? Um, it's like a new cycle is going to start. Even if this is something that you feel intuitively, it, energy doesn't fly. Taurus. We have the Empress. That's you guys. You're ready. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, that's fire energy there. So you're out and you're busy. Perhaps you are in the process. You are looking. So you are. You ready? Ten of Cups. Ace of Cups. Something new. This is the start of something new here, Taurus. Okay, as I said in the beginning, we've gone from eight to the nine to the 10. Pretty much it's going smoothly. And you will see, as I said, if definitely, if this is something that you guys have manifested, okay, you've literally said something like praying for this to happen, praying for your person to come to you now, it would happen in, it's been happening in stages for you, eight, nine, 10. OK, so it's almost like, OK, you're ready. You make that manifestation. You've been through what you've been through. You've had your full start. And it's like, OK, I want something serious now. I'm not accepting anything else. So you, you're open and you're ready. OK, you're doing things to prepare yourself for your person. That's you sitting there abundant, sitting there waiting, ready with your wish. The Nine of Cups is also the wish card as well. But I feel like there were, there were times where you felt like this is not going to happen for me. Like it's never going to happen. I'm never going to find the one. But then all of a sudden you meet this person, you know, it's going to be your person. Even if you don't connect up that at, at that level just yet, you know, it's going to be your person. I feel like there will be some action. Your person could be a fire sign. As I said, Aries, Leo or Sag. Um, you meet this person and it's almost like it, it it, it kicks off straight away then you meet this person and even if you don't connect on that side when you do it's like from, it just happens 
brilliant but you're open and you're ready with the empress there and that pretty much how they see you they're like whoa that's my empress you may even both feel the same way you, you're not necessarily saying it to each other but this is like you're, you're feeling the same way like yeah this is my person i know this is my person with that mutual energy there with the two of cups okay and then the newness begins your ten of cups appears just like that and that's when you can say oh my gosh it's here and it's happening powerful little manifestors here let's see what other energies come out for you before we wrap this up oh that was way too much okay but that's lovely the little chariot a person may even live at a distance you may meet your person on a holiday i don't think this person will be local king up king of pentacles or they could be an earth sign the person could be um taurus virgo capricorn like yourself or they may be grounded as stable and grounded as you but they are showing up as a king that's that's fantastic four of cups i feel like your per as a mutual energy is being okay guys your person could have went through the similar as similar things that you have been through and they're bored of that life too you may even meet your person when when you meet them for the first time because it hasn't got that spark straight away um to where they're like okay let's start dating or whatever you may even meet during these times it's covid you know and you can't really do that kind of thing you may just think even more so okay not that one but you know you still feel it don't deny those feels taurus energy does not lie free of wands and the death card i don't feel any way about the death card here I've, i just feel like this is the transformation when you stop when you take your mind off it and you stop thinking it's never going to happen for me and just be get back into your empress energy the king appears this is you guys looking out into the future and i feel like this is more of your fears as well with the four of cups possibly thinking oh gosh it's it's it's, it's more than even likely boring for you waiting for your person to appear but it's going to happen the change the transformation will come soon your ten of cups taurus is on the way Let's see what the oracle has to say what do we have here the, the crystal angels even bear with guys if i can if i can reach this card come on please for taurus sorry okay i've got a it says passion and purpose your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart and that's ruby like that crystal there and then we have unconventionality your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose it's okay to feel and be different from others a hundred percent who wants to be the same as the rest all your cards are dropping today but we'll grab that as it goes on uh we have little wolf girl i think this has came up for every earth sign today this is definitely earth energy it is all right to be alone it's okay it's okay to be alone so perhaps you've been single for a long time and, and, and after this you're going to think thank god you were single for such a long time anything else at all let's please We have Little Red Riding Hood. I am not a, vi a victim. No, you are not. Perhaps it's a victim mindset that's got you feeling defeated, feeling like you will never have this based on what's happened in your past. The past is in the past. You're here now. Two kittens. You must choose. And yeah, more than likely it's a mind over matter thing. Are you going to stay in this mindset or are you going to allow yourself to have this thing? And I think you absolutely will with that Empress energy. Taurus, that has been your reading. Lovely, lovely reading. As always, take what resonates, leave whatever doesn't, and do not force anything to fit with your situation, guys. Um, yes, yeah, sending you lots of peace, love, and light. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening, guys, and take care. Until next time.